Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin, and today we're unboxing the Lenovo Legion 5. So, um, you can see this massive box has this uh, gaming PC in it. Legion is Lenovo's gaming brand. So this is sort of mainstream gaming because um, Legion is, is more toward that premium tier. They do have an idea pad gaming PC. That's that's the casual gaming. And then really for that, the, the best they have is um, Legion 7, which is at the top of the lineup. They used to have a 900 series back before before they lost the 100, and, like, there was a 700. Anyway, I digress. They used to have a, I'll call it a 9 series. Now now 7's at the top of the lineup, and then they have 5 that's kind of mainstream. So this is not normally the type of review unit that I would accept. And the reason for that is not because it's a bad product. It's going to be an awesome product. And I'll tell you, I know that because I've reviewed it. <laughs> I've reviewed the Intel one. That was called the Legion 5i. And I also reviewed the Legion 7i. Now, you know what interests me about the branding there is Lenovo's doing this a lot, where the Intel-powered one is has an i as a suffix, and the AMD one is just regular. So it's like Intel is the variant, where AMD is supposed to be the standard, almost as far as branding goes. As far as the actual models go, maybe not so much. Um... This one's got an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H. And by the way, the reason that I would normally not accept this is just because I don't usually review uh, variants of products that have different CPUs in them. You know, sometimes they'll send me a product that's an AMD version of the product, and they'll email me a few weeks later, and they'll offer the Intel version for review. And it's just like, well, it's the exact same product, and honestly... I've reviewed so many Intel Comet Lake PCs where it's just like I I, I know what's what like like I can I can replace X with Y on this on this particular product you know um, so a couple things that that interest me though is AMD Ryzen 4000 still interests me although I've reviewed quite a few of those PCs now and one of them uh, the HP Omen 15 uses the H series processors like this one. And that's the 45 watt one that you'll find in gaming PCs and stuff like that. So that's super cool because, um, in most cases that I've seen, at least in the U series, the 15 watt ultrabook form factor, the, um, AMD Ryzen just kind of smokes anything that Intel's got on the gaming side of things. Um, that, that's, that's a little bit harder of a question to answer because, um, well, gaming PCs don't rely as much on just the CPU, right? We get, we have dedicated graphics on, on gaming PCs. And the problem here that I'm seeing is that Lenovo is doing something similar to what HP did. And I guess we're seeing a lot, which is that the AMD PCs are getting lower end options where the, the graphics in here is, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti four gigs that's the best that we can do um there's the base model has a 1650 where um the the five the the legion 5i you can get rtx graphics if you want um certainly a 1660 you know and also like the screen is um 1080p obviously there's a 60 hertz option at 300 nits and 120 hertz option at 250 nits so um you know, nothing really thrilling in those departments. You're not going to find any, um, uh, you know, 144 hertz, 240 hertz, 300 hertz refresh rates, which, uh, you know, is something that can be important in gaming. So um, I, I'm excited to, to, to play with the CPU. This one does have, like I said, a Ryzen 7 4800H. Uh, it's got eight cores, 16 threads, 45 watt TDP. So it's going to be cool. So I don't know why... <laughs> Box is so big, you know. They're not all, they're not all this like like the the Legion Seven I did not have this big of a box. It was actually kind of small, I think. You know, sometimes gaming PCs come in these big boxes where it's just like, you know, um, not much has changed. Like like, you know, Lenovo didn't even send me a reviewer's guide for this unit because um, I I asked them. They're like, yeah, you could just use the. Uh, the Intel reviewers guide that we sent you, it's all pretty much the same. So like like Dolby Atmos sound, um, stuff like that. There's no RGB lighting. Although there's an option for RGB lighting, at least on the 5i. 
And I, it wasn't in my unit. I wouldn't expect to see it here just because um, it's the AMD one. And I mean, typically in in years past, that, that's one of, been one of the differentiators between the 500 series and the 700 series. The 700 series always had lots of RGB lighting and then this just had a white backlight. And this one does uh, just have that white backlight. So here's our power cable. I'm gonna need it too because, uh, yeah, so we got a 230 watt um, adapter. It uses Lenovo's uh, proprietary USB type A shaped adapter. Oh, I'm sorry, this is 170 watts. <laughs> Ooh, it's 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 the shape and size of a 230, which uh, I, I I guess it's, maybe it's a little smaller, but felt like it. Anyway, 170 watts, so it's using it's using a little bit less power than most of the uh, gaming laptops I've seen from Lenovo, and um, obviously it's got to use that USB Type A shaped charger because you can't use uh, power delivery for something that requires this much power. So as, as far as the design goes, nothing really changes from the 5i. It's still got it's still about an inch thick. It weighs about five and a half pounds. Uh, as far as ports go, we have a USB Type A. I mean a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A. There's four of them. Uh, we do have one on the left side here, along with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On this side over here, we have another Type A port, um, and What's cool about Legions is that most of the ports are actually on the back. And this is great for cable management. And you've got your two USB type A ports on the back. HDMI, that's HDMI 2.0 actually. This is that power port. And like I said, great for cable management because everything's just sticking out the back. You don't have to worry about um, peripherals or wires getting in the way of your peripherals, right? So if you're using a mouse and then you have stuff sticking out the side, that's kind of annoying. Uh, wired wired Ethernet, and then of course we have USB Type C 3.2. It does support DisplayPort, although you are obviously going to only be able to plug in one uh, 4K monitor. You could do uh, two uh, 1080p monitors if you want, but um, the point is it's not Thunderbolt, and that's an issue with AMD. Thunderbolt's still very much on uh, an Intel thing, so. You know, don't try to plug into 4K displays or anything like that. Uh, it's one of the big limitations of AMD PCs right now. So you can see uh, we do have fans on the uh, uh, vents on the sides, I should say, for the for the fans that are in the corners. And and Lenovo did this uh, a couple years ago with the idea that they realized that if they stick fans in the corners, we have them on both sides too, and you can see there's uh, vents on the bottom. And so you have two fans and you stick them in the corner, you put vents on both sides, and you can blow out twice as much hot air. And that actually worked out pretty well uh, for the cooling. So, you know, take a look at the inside. The keyboard is uh, the keyboard. It's, uh, you know, there's nothing really uh, too exciting going on here because we, we've, we've been through all this before, you know. You can see uh, you got the, the AMD uh, AMD Radeon and NVIDIA GeForce GTX stickers right next to each other, uh, which is kind of interesting to see. And then, of course, the AMD Ryzen 4000 series. Okay, uh, power button. There's no Windows Hello or anything like that. What we do have, uh, like I said, a 1080p display, uh, anti-glare, no surprise there. We do have a, a sticker that comes over the the webcam and then of course you can use a privacy guard to block it and now what's nice about that is that there's no IR camera now now there's no Windows Hello at all I don't know why there's never any Windows Hello on gaming PCs but uh, it's just just like the way of the world but but one thing that always annoys me is that for an IR camera to work you need the webcam to work so you have these PCs out there that have an IR camera a webcam and a privacy guard that goes over the webcam. So like you're using it during the day and instead of putting a tape over the camera, you, you flick that uh, privacy guard so no one can hack your webcam and see you and all that stuff. But then you forget about it and then the next day you turn on your computer and Windows Hello doesn't work. You know, so um, you don't really have to make that choice anymore with, with this PC at least. I, I, I don't know if that's a pro or a compromise or whatever you want to call it, but 
It is what it is. Okay. Uh, 15.6 inches, although uh, I believe this machine does come in 17 inch. Uh, Lenovo does usually make 15 and 17 inch flavors of the, the same PCs. The trackpad is clickable. Um, that's something I don't care for in a gaming PC. Um, honestly, if you're just if you're controlling something with the trackpad, you don't want to accidentally click while you're doing it. That's why a lot of gaming PCs don't have a clickable trackpad, and then they'll have physical buttons uh, above or below it. Um, I don't know though. I, I don't know. It was the same thing with the HP Omen 15. So. Um, Maybe these companies know something I don't. Maybe no one's using a trackpad for gaming. Maybe just everyone's using a mouse now, and so they decided that it's not. It's just not worth it. Um, it's not super easily clickable. Like it's not like a hair trigger click or anything like that. But um, you know, just something to be aware of. So that's about it. Um, you know, a little bit about the design. It, it's. I appreciate it. It's it's a little more um, professional looking than a lot of gaming laptops that I've seen. It's um you know it, it's black. The the seven series comes in more of a silver color or a grayish, and then you just have this clean little uh, Legion logo on the side, and sometimes that's got lighting in it depending on what model you buy. I think um, on the five series it's usually just white lighting. You get RGB lighting on the seven series, but um. Yeah, and and it's 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 something that you can take home and play games with, and you can bring to an office and work with, and and you don't and you can feel good about bringing it to a professional setting. So, um, and really, you know, like there's different tiers when it comes to gaming laptops, and it's something to be aware of because I I look at them differently. I like um, when you look at casual gaming laptops, I think the idea is more. Um, I want to. I, I want a laptop for work, but I also want to be able to play when I want to play. And then you can go and look at like mainstream, and say like, well, I want a laptop that can do both. And then you go to premium gaming, and you say like, well, this is primarily for gaming, you know. Um, so so I look at this at like, you know, I, I look at this more as as as. A work PC, but also to play games on. Because remember, it's got a 1650 Ti in it, so it's not um, like it's not high-end gaming performance with that with with that GPU. I mean, it's probably going to do uh, FHD gaming fine. You know, there are going to be certain games that just won't run well. You know, <laughs> like super high-end stuff. But I mean, if you're out there playing, I don't know, Halo: The Master Chief Collection and Forza Horizon Four, games that I love to play. Um, you, it's going to play just fine. So anyway, guys, I'll have a review in a few weeks. So stay tuned. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.